My BFI player choice this week is an enigmatic slice of 70s Soviet cinema from Andrei Tarkovsky, a film that tantalizingly combines elements of science fiction, philosophy, religion, and, for those who choose to see it, political satire, along with something altogether more elusive, Stalker. Здесь... Здесь дверь какая-то. Какая Теперь туда. Открывайте дверь и входите. Adapted by writers Akkadi and Boris Strugatsky from their 1972 novel Roadside Picnic, Stalker plays out in a strange Netherland touched by otherworldly mystery. Alexander Kaidanovsky is the titular guide who leads a pair of clients into the forbidden zone, littered with remnants of an alien culture. According to popular legend, within this zone there lies a room that can grant one's deepest desires. Stalker's companions are a writer and a professor. The former is seeking inspiration. The latter claims to be in pursuit of a Nobel Prize. Whether either will survive their journey into the zone or their exit from it remains to be seen. The production of Stalker was famously troubled. Having spent the best part of a year shooting exteriors, Tarkovsky returned to Moscow where the footage was found to be unusable due to errors in the development process. When the film was finally finished, its meaning remained baffling to some audiences, with Tarkovsky inviting each viewer to interpret events for themselves, much like the visitors to the room at the heart of the film. For some, Stalker is an allegory about faith in an increasingly secular age. For others, it's an existential exploration of the desires that lurk within us all and our perennial inability to understand what we really want and why. Personally, I think one of the most intriguing readings of Stalker can be found in Jeff Dyer's short book, Zona, which reads like a literary version of an erudite DVD commentary. Subtitled, A Book About a Film About a Journey to a Room, Zona can almost be read while the film is playing out in real time. If you don't believe me, give it a try, or alternatively, just watch the film and make up your own mind about its many mysteries.